Uh, my name is Joseph Joga Har. I'm from the World Scholars Cup. I'm the International Program Director of the World Scholars Cup. And our team is so excited to be back here in Lusaka. This is the eighth year in a row with one year missing where we've had an event here in Lusaka. And it's been so exciting to see this event grow over the last eight years. We started with just over 100 students in 2016. And Steadily it's grown almost every year with hundreds of scholars from many different schools all over the country. We have scholars here from um, as far away as the Copper Belt, um, lots from different parts of, of the Lusaka city area. And this event has really become a, a great tradition for schools and for students. It's a, an event that marks you know, a part of the school calendar. And it's been really exciting to see it you know, even despite challenges over the last few years, uh, the resiliency of this event to continue on. I think the World Scholars Cup means a lot to the students who participate and the teachers because it's a chance to be a part of a community that is not just the members that are here at the Lusaka Round, but also our larger global community. To give a few welcoming words to all of you, I'd like to call up the head teacher of Rhodes Park School, Mr. Kamchungu. A huge round of applause for him. Good morning to you all. Okay, welcome all to Rhodes Park School. We're happy to have you here, and we're looking forward to having a wonderful time the next two days. So it is with great pleasure and immense pride that I stand before you today to extend a warm welcome to the Rhodes Park School Regional Round of the World Scholars Cup. <laughs> this event marks a significant gathering of brilliant minds, eager learners, and future leaders. And it is an honor to host such a distinguished group of individuals for the seventh time this year. You will realize that uh, what you learn in the classroom does not teach you soft skills mainly. So it's through such kind of events where you're going to learn soft skills, strategic uh, thinking, collaboration, critical thinking. So it's good that you've taken time to come here and be part of this wonderful event. First and foremost, let me express our deepest gratitude to the World Scholars Organizing Team for entrusting Rhodes Park School with the responsibility of hosting this regional round. The World Scholars Cup is not just a competition. It is a celebration of knowledge, curiosity, and the spirit of global collaboration. This event provides a platform for scholars from diverse backgrounds to come together, share ideas, and engage in intellectual pursuits that go beyond the confines of traditional academic boundaries. To, part, to the participating teams, I extend a heartfelt welcome, especially those that have traveled distances, like uh, Chengelo um, and Pelembe. We are happy to host you. You had to travel long distances, and it's a pleasure to have you here. Of course, even the rest of the school, you made great sacrifices to be here over the weekend. Yes, your presence here today is a testament to your dedication and passion for exploring the world of ideas. Embrace the opportunity to challenge yourselves, forge new connections, and most importantly, enjoy the journey of discovery. Our school, Rhodes Park School, is committed to providing an environment that nurtures not only academic excellency, but also the development of well-rounded individuals. Hosting the World Scholars Cup aligns perfectly with our philosophy of encouraging a holistic approach to education. We believe that true learning extends beyond textbook and classrooms, and events like these contribute significantly 
to the enrichment of your ex educational experience. Throughout this regional round, you will face challenges that will test your knowledge, teamwork, and adaptability. Embrace these challenges with enthusiasm, for it is through overcoming obstacles that we truly grow as scholars and individuals. Remember, the journey is just as important as the destination, and the connections you make and the lessons you will learn will stay with you for a lifetime. To the teachers, mentors, and parents present here today, thank you for your unwavering support. Your guidance and encouragement play a crucial role in the success of these young scholars, and we appreciate the dedication you demonstrate in nurturing the next generation of leaders and thinkers. In conclusion, let us celebrate the diversity of thought, the joy of learning, and the spirit of camaraderie that defines the World Scholars Cup. May this, may this regional round be a memorable and enriching experience for each and every one of you, all the participating teams. May the pursuit of knowledge and the joy of discovery guide you on this exciting journey. Thank you so much. sharp black suit
said to my friends, I would like to revert to what the first and second speaker said concerning the first speaker. The first speaker stated that in society, we have not, we shouldn't keep secrets, we should keep secrets from other people. If we keep secrets from other people, then how would that better the society? All these buildings, if the government gets the secret, as the public, how would we know what the people of those buildings are? And my rebuttal to the second speaker from the affirmative team, she said that it would better our lives to be in the secret. Those, the, the planning that is stated, 200 years advanced, what if they are useful to, to come and help us in the present day? But we don't know if air pollution is worth it, air pollution is just everything. We don't know what's going to happen to you. You just go there and then you don't know. You just confuse, you have entered another dimension and things are just not making sense. You are confused, everything is just, you just don't know. You have to keep it safe. You have to protect the humanity. We don't know what's going to happen. Everyone goes there. Yes, what if it's good? What's going to happen to our mother the earth? My name is Chiti Jiko and me and my team are disgusted by how invalid this notion is. Now, I would like to summarize my team's points. Now, as the first speaker said, people have put security measures so such undesirable acts like someone's hand being cut off or some or like certain creatures that might outbreak out of the culture will cause destruction because it will and the that will be a good speech. We'll have this year about 25,000 students in events all over the world. And each of these scholars here is now a part of that community. And they can really feel connected to students from as far away as New Zealand and Mongolia and really all over the world. And in the World Scholars Cup, students are challenged. For some of them, they may have to do things they've never done before, like debating. Um, they have to be able to work together with their teammates. Sometimes they're answering questions about topics that they've just learned about. But our hope is that the learning doesn't stop over these two days. But instead, the questions that, that come up and the topics that they're interested in, that they'll continue to investigate and learn more and that the learning stops, you know, or really never stops and just continues on after this. And that the debates continue as they discuss topics. And it's really exciting to see that every year. So before I move into my points, let's look at a few rebuttals. So as the first speaker was talking about science fiction, let me say it again, science fiction. Fiction clearly means something made up or something not true. So how can someone really debate on something they don't believe in? So let's not di divert the mood from here, yeah? Second speaker, the spe second speaker has clearly gotten this motion wrong. He was saying it recently wasn't found. But what does discovered mean? Are you sure you're getting your facts straight? I strongly agree with this motion because it will give us economic opportunities. But by this, I mean opening a tree with the less advanced earth like planet creates a mutually beneficial relationship. But we don't mean an actual planet. What we mean? It, okay, it depends on what you want to think. Uh, the planet just like ours means. It can be a country, it can be a city, it can be a town. So let us look at it as if it's two different countries, Zambia and uh, Malawi.
All right, and now that we have given you something to celebrate, scholars, or we've taught you, we want to give you something, a reason to celebrate, but we need your help. We need every school here to nominate a single scholar to represent them on stage. Don't take too long to do this. One scholar per school, you decide for yourselves, and then yeah. send them up on stage. We aren't picking, send somebody. So Lexi, what are they going to do? Scholars, you all are here on stage today to participate in something known as the Alpaca Balance Challenge. Yes. So scholars, what we're going to ask you to do is once I tell you to, step forward and pick up one of these small alpacas from the front of the stage. Then we will ask you to place this alpaca on top of your head. Then Joseph and Guy and I will ask you to traverse a series of tasks these may be things like turning in a circle or high-fiving someone or something like that. However, if your alpaca falls off your head, you will have to return to your seat, but first place your alpaca back at the front of the stage. However, if you are the last person with the alpaca on top of your head, you will win one of these large alpacas. Not the special ones, but the regular large alpacas. Yes. So, scholars on the stage, please step forward and select a small alpaca. Make sure it fits the shape of your head. And then begin to get them balanced. We'll give you 30 seconds. Choose then your champion. All right, they are, they are gonna have about 20 more seconds to get these alpacas balanced. Remember, the rules are simple. After we begin, you may not touch the alpaca, and if it falls off, you must return to your seat. We'll give them 10 more seconds. Three Scholars. more seconds of readjustment. Count down the last five seconds. Five. Four, three, two, five. And time. The Alpaca Balance Challenge has officially begun. And now we sit here until lunch. Until they've all fallen off. No, of course we would not do that. We already sat here for two hours in the dark. Instead, now that they have demonstrated the ability to stand still, which is not as easy as it appears, we will ask them to complete the first task, which is to raise their hand. And once your hand has been raised, we ask that you be friendly and greet the person next to you with a high five. Hey. Oh no, scholars, please give it up for our first fallen champion. Thank you. All right, you may put your hand down. What should be next, Lexi? Scholars, I think that your alpacas are, ex I think your alpacas are experiencing the need to be closer to the ground. They're longing for this gravity. Please bend down and touch the floor carefully and slowly, and then stand back up again. Oh no, two more.
Wow, that one knocked a good few out. All right. uh, I like that you have your hand out just like I did. This is also the talent show act that Lexi told you about yesterday in China. That a few is years true. Ago. I did. I forgot about that. Wow. And Guy, now that you have a microphone, what's next? Scholars, today he started a little unexpectedly, and I'm feeling a bit somber about it. So something that cheers me up, usually, is a nice song. So Scholars on stage, could you sing me a line or two from one of your favorite songs? Lolly way, lolly way, why do do la? Who lolly way, why do do la? Who lolly way, why do do la? Nanga sings la. This is also a preview of the talent show this afternoon. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above a world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Lyrical smile, indigo eyes, hand on my thigh, we could fall of the sparks, I'll drive. <gasps> oh no! That was such a beautiful song though, but sadly your alpaca didn't like it. I don't know why. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Stand and sing a Zambia, proud and free. The Mandem Twin Considerate, Five Star Hotel, smoking cigarette, mixing coding up with the thin again. Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you down, never gonna run around and desert you, never gonna make you cry, never gonna say goodbye, never gonna tell a lie and hurt you. Baba, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> Wait, what if you don't know, like, the whole lyrics for the song. You only need to sing like a line or two. It, like it can be very short, it's fine. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Yes. Johnny, Johnny, yes, Papa, eating sugar, no, Papa, telling lies, no, Papa, open your mouth, ha, ha, ha. Scholars, a round of applause for all these singers. This has been the World Scholars Cup Presents Nursery Rhymes. Um, now, before we move on to our next challenge, one thing that I think the scholars out there are, are trying to do is see you clearly, but you're so far back on the stage. How about you take a few steps forward until you get to this red line? Uh, this requires complex motion. Now sometimes you take a few steps forward and then you slide back. So now take two steps backwards.
But then you try again and you take another step forward. Well, these scholars that remain um, are pretty fierce competitors, and I think we need to do something that the singing reminded me of earlier. Scholars, often when people hear music, it makes your body feel sensations. Parts of your body begin to move, and then other parts of your body begin to move, and you dance. This is called dance, okay? We are gonna ask these scholars on stage to do a dance, but it is not a typical dance, it is a dance challenge. Lexi, what is this dance called? Scholars, the dance that these scholars on stage will be performing is commonly known as the limbo. I need some bread. First we dance. Now I go and sit down. Oh, it's my turn. Get to stop. Final two. And now, since we have two final competitors, we are going to do something that leans into the people thinking we are a cult. We will ask these two to now not pass under the stick, but instead, they will each hold on to one end of the stick and they will circle around one another like wolves circling their prey until one scholar remains. So begin to circle around. You'll need to decide if you're going clockwise or counterclockwise. And here is some appropriate music. <coughs> Here is a circle, it knows how to get around. It has a radius from center to rim. And its diameter's a line that goes from side to side right, while passing now through the, the center. Direction. Now isn't that simple? Pi r squared sounds like area to me. When I need a circumference, I'll just use pi d. And now go a little bit faster. Sounds like area to me. When I need a circumference, I'll just use pi d. And each of you raised one hand in the air. And continue Here to is a circle. circle. It knows. 
Challengers, they have decided to be co-champions of the Alpaca Balance Challenge. Here, I'll take this from you. Sorry, you don't have to. This is how world peace should be solved. We should tell world leaders to do this. Now, as co-champions, first you can relax, take the alpacas off your head, and now you may each select one of these larger global round size jerrys. You can also choose from these. What I'd like to say is just be confident and be determined in what you're doing. Never give up, I guess. Next, not from practice, but to practice, where we begin to have point value. <laughs> Judges, my fellow opponents, and my marvelous teammates. My name is Ashika Ramu, and in this discourse, I will not merely address the wax and the wick, but rather take you on a fiery exploration of the motion I strongly affirm to, which states that books in this library should be hidden from the public. Let's first think about the fact that this motion revolves around us humans. Humans are born to mess up. We're not logical people, we never think well, and we've never dealt anything with history well. History is not just what happened in the past, but it's also stories we tell about it, and stories, and some stories, are left best untold. For they have the power to shape not only our past, but the understanding of our future. My name is Sungani from the proposing side of this debate, proposing the motion that states, and I quote, that books in, the lib books in this library should be hidden from the public, end of quotation. Beware, for I debate powerfully and without fear. My name is Ashley Nyombi from St. Mary's Girls Secondary School, and I am the second speaker of the, of the negative team of the motion that states, and I quote, that the books in this library should be hidden from the public. But before I continue, I would like to, <coughs> I would like to acknowledge the following. To my adjudicators, I salute. To my opposite team, I salute. To my fellow debaters, I salute. And to my audience, I salute. But before I continue, I would like to rebut the, the point that uh, Speaker X said. They said that if we have books that tell us about the what-ifs, this could probably distract the way we think or it could affect our thoughts. But the end result is that whether we have these books or not, trauma will happen. Whether we like it or not, it will happen. All right, let's welcome the third speaker of the affirmative team. Good afternoon, esteemed judges, my lovely audience, and, as, and fellow debaters. I, Ariana Merchant, as the third speaker of the affirmative side, will, will be here to prove to you why we believe that historical books in this library should be hidden from, from the public. There's an importance of preserving the uniqueness and secrecy of books that have the Earth's history turned out. To be different, keeping them hidden from the public could maintain the magic and the mystery surrounding them, making the library a special and exclusive place for exploration by safe grounding. These books, we can assure us that their impact remains powerful and that their stories 
within them retain their value and significance. Let's keep the magic alive by these books hidden and inherited within the multiverse libraries. Before I begin with my point, I would like to start with a few rebuttals. The current speaker spoke about how we would experience political manipulation if we were to enter this multiverse. Need I remind you that the motion does not talk about how we will enter this multiverse. The motion clearly states that we are reading books of history. The, mo the current speaker clearly does not understand what this motion speaks about. We are reading history books. How many history books have we read that we have not experienced political manipulation from? Are you telling me that you've read a book about Hitler and after reading about that book, you all of a sudden started bowing down to everything that he told those people to do? No, this is impossible. The current speaker also spoke about how humans are bound to mess up. Yes, humans are bound to mess up, which is exactly why we should learn from, these, we should learn from the mess ups of other people so that we do not make these mess ups ourselves. The first speaker mentioned how you can't learn something from, you can't learn something that wasn't accomplished. Well, I rebuttal that by saying you can, because you have the ability to imagine. You don't necessarily need a history book to imagine what could have happened. You can just think about it and stop it from happening by not performing those acts. So you don't necessarily learn something based off accomplishing it. You can easily learn something just by thinking about an alternative. And my second rebuttal is how, the second speaker mentioned how, Imagine how Africa would be without colonization. Ladies and gentlemen, for starters, no sources were stated. Therefore, we consider your entire argument to be invalid. Our sources for the record were Statista, The Guardian, New York Times, Science.com, and History.com. Now, on to the specifics. First speaker, you said history books can lead to political manipulation. However, doesn't having such a vast array of sources erase manipulation? Having such a wide range of resources to choose from, imagine that. You can form your own opinion because yes, although the facts might be altered, they might be different, you can choose what to believe. Whereas if you only look at the history books from our universe, you would think this is the only view, this is the only thing I have to believe. Scholars, we ask that you support in the correct way when a scholar is sharing their performance. There are often two types of, per of support. The first type is quiet support. Sometimes the best way to support an act is by simply listening and giving them the environment that they will be able to focus and do their best in. Scholars, can you practice giving quiet support? Give me a beat, guys. First thing. Sometimes it feels like the world is a bag of pain But he will never let a righteous tear fall to the ground in pain Mulungu samagona pali iwe daily Hi everyone, my name is Tasha Nikki and I'm going to dance now, you're going to dance. What kind of dance or what song are you dancing to? It's a K-pop dance. So you're dancing to K-pop. Now, I think there are some K-pop fans here. K-pop fans, make some noise. <laughs> I'm 
Beyonce and her juggling prowess. probably the debate. I love debating as a person and I also really loved our team debate this time. We did really really well and we had really cool preambles and stuff. The judges seemed very very impressed with all that we had to present. So yeah, this is probably my last year doing World Scholars because this is my final year of school and I'll just say that debate is probably my favorite part of World Scholars. Winning fourth place from Woodford School, Team 144. Coming in third place from Changello School, Team 113. Our runner-up, Junior Division Challenge Team from Martin House Trust School, Team 116. And... World Scholars was such an amazing experience. I really loved the debating, as it was so amazing to do. And I also loved the collaborative writing. And I also loved the Scholars Challenge. It was a bit challenging, but it was so fun to do with my teammates. And I got to, knew, got to know other schools in, a, in such an amazing way. And I made friends that I will never be able to break a bond with. It was just so amazing. And I also got to know Kaka, and her name is Nidi, and she's so pretty. I got so many medals and me and my team got two team awards today 
and I participated in collaborative writing, um, the debate, the scholars challenge, and I had so much fun doing all of them. I love debating the most because I'm, I genuinely love to argue and the fact that I get to debate just made me so happy because debating is the same as arguing and I'm so happy that I could do it um, well and that I could get so many medals and I'm also happy for the team and the school and I'm definitely going to come back next time. Thank you. My name is Eliana Havada and I'm from Woodford School, Saka. And so far, my favorite part about this whole entire event has been the debate because I really like debating and I got to win a medal for that. So I'm really happy that I got to be here and I got to experience this event. Um, my name is Sungani Salimu from Ashford Academy, I'm from the senior division and uh, truly this has been a great experience. It's something that I can't even express for myself. I, I've done World Scholars for now, it's four years and running, regionals and globals, and truly, the feeling I get every time, it's, it's, it's nothing that I can explain. I love the experience, I love the medals, new friends, new experiences, it's how we learn and grow. And uh, thank you to the World Scholars for yet another year of marvelous work. I can't thank them enough for what they've done for us, and this is going to look very good on everything that I do after school, including my college application. So, Big up to the old scholars and Ashford Academy. Thank you. Hello, my name is Moka Mavita and I'm from Rhodes Park School. And personally, I love the experience at World Scholars Cup. It was really amazing. This is, should be my fourth round. My favorite thing about the World Scholars should be the collaborative writing because it really helps me express myself in the form of a written sentence and even just the awards, you know? So yeah, I really liked it. Hi, everyone. My name is Lohit Yadat. I was the former deputy head boy for last year and top scholar for 2023. Uh, I'm back this year for volunteering. It was an amazing experience. I got to meet my fellow schoolmates. We volunteered together. Kind of crazy because I actually pulled my leg half of the day yesterday and couldn't walk for half of it today but I would forever cherish the memories I took during this time. And of course, I get a free alpaca and a free medal. Thank you. My name is Panache Banda and I come from Rhodes Park School. Um, this event today that, we, that I have attended is the Rhodes Scholars Cup, um, for those who may not know. <laughs> when it comes to my experience at this event, I would say that it's quite over overwhelming, but even though it's very overwhelming, I feel that if you really put your mind to the events and all that, you can really win a lot at the end and you can come out happy. Even if you don't win much, my first World Scholars, I only won one medal, but I was still extremely happy because it was my first time, because I was very new. I really did not have that much confidence, but now I believe this is my fourth World Scholars and now I've gotten more confidence from uh, more of it, like, like from more experience, basically. Um, my favorite, one of my favorite actually events in this entire World Scholars Cup is actually debates because I feel like during debates you can voice out your own opinions and there's no interjection so you can just say, you can, you can say the opinion and at the end it's like so, I don't know where you can say it, so it hits a climax because you're like, am I going to win this debate, am I going to lose this debate? Yeah, anyway, come to World Scholars, it is a great function.